Welcome to your favorite program, Tremendous Power. This is season three. We've had awesome time in season one and season two. And we've received several testimonies from around the world. It's awesome what God is doing when we pray. And today we are here again to pray. And I want to encourage you to call your friends, to call your neighbors, your family members, send the link to them, tell them to join us on the TV station if they're not around you. And it's going to be a glorious time today praying together. Amen. Now, I also want to encourage you to ensure that uh, you get on King's Chat. You know, you can let us know what God is doing in your life through this program. And you also, you can send your prayer request because we want to pray with you as well. Because God is doing great things through this program. And of course, today we're going to be praying for Reach Out World. That is one of the biggest things happening so soon with our man of God, Pastor Chris and you don't want to miss it. So today we're going to be spending time praying for that program because Reach Out World is where we are reaching out to seven billion souls, even over seven billion. You know, a man of God, Pastor Chris, has said to us that um, there are much more people in the world than they have told us. And so we are reaching out to all of them, but we have been given the mark by a man of God to reach seven billion souls. So that's what we are about. And so we will be praying for that even as we get ready for that program with our man of God, Pastor Chris. And of course, even how, where we start now, I'd like to thank our man of God, Pastor Chris, for this awesome program and for the opportunity he's given us to be part of the Rich Art World and to have Rhapsody to give out to the peoples of the world. In fact, you know, Rhapsody right now is in over 7,000 languages. That's awesome. By the end of this year, we would have covered all of the known languages all over the world. And Rhapsody will be in all of the known languages. So, Pastor, we love you so dearly. Thank you so much for this awesome opportunity. And of course, I'd like to thank the esteemed director of Love World Networks, the esteemed Pastor Ose. Thank you, Ma, for the great work you are doing and letting people see this program and helping them to reach their fulfillment even as we pray with them and for them. Thank you so very much. Now, today, we have this awesome book here that we're going to be discussing. Now, I'm sure you can see the title from the screen, but just in case you can't, I'll tell you what it is. It's Seven Things the Holy Spirit will do in you by the esteemed Pastor Chris or Yahilome. Now, you need to get a copy because we'll be looking through this book today. We can read everything on the screen, of course, but we'll be looking at a few things from this book. We'll be discussing this book, and so you want, want you to join us. And if you have a copy already, you can go grab it now and do that quickly. And if you don't, try and get one. So, we're going to go into chapter one, and we're going to read just a few lines from chapter one. So that way you can have an insight into what a man of God, Pastor Chris, has taught us through this book. But before we go in there, I have with me here my guest today. He is Brother Tari. I'm sure you remember this lovely face. He was with me in season one and season two, and here again in season three. Thank can you, you just say greetings to the people, Brother Tari? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I want to welcome you to yet again another wonderful edition of Tremendous Power. And today, believe me, we are making tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. So don't go away. This is your time. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Brother Tari. So now we go into the book. Okay. So we want to start with chapter one. And the title is, Who is the Holy Spirit? Mm. So I'll read a few lines and then we'll have some discussion about that. Now, Pastor says here, have you ever tried to ask people who or what they think the Holy Spirit is. Some may tell you it's a cloud or smoke coming out of heaven, or it's the anointing oil in a bottle. Others may even say it's my prayer handkerchief, what some call mantle, or it's, the inf or it's that influence I feel sometimes that causes me to shake and speak in tongues. Brother Tari, can I ask you this? Did you ever think any of this before you came to the knowledge of the truth about the Holy Ghost? 
Was any of this your thought at one time? Uh, I, none of this were my thoughts. Uh, my thoughts initially, before I came to the full knowledge of the Holy Ghost, was as though the Holy Spirit was one separate person. You know, that is not God. That is distinct that from is God distinct, and Jesus. Yes. Just on his own. Before I came to the full knowledge of God. And I'm sure many people like that were out there. They are the same thing. Some of them, they seem as, uh, uh, just like I said, it's so completely different. But when uh, I came into the full knowledge of who he is, through the ministry of a man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Yakilome, in short, since that day, everything about me changed. Amen. Because this understanding a man of God shed light on, it brought me to complete understanding of who the Holy Ghost is and to walk and operate in the fullness of what he has come to do in me. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you know, some people think that the Holy Ghost is a dove. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but he's not. <laughs> that was some people think. It's impossible. <laughs> okay, let's read on. Well, the Holy Spirit I'll be teaching about, Pastor says, is definitely not more than any of, is definitely more than any of this. Mm. Oh, how I wish many more of God's children will know him for who he really is. I will intermittently refer to him as the Holy Ghost throughout this book. For Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost refer to one and same person. Okay. So what Pastor is saying in essence is that intermittently he will call him the Holy Ghost and then the Holy Spirit. Mm. But they are the same person. That's what Pastor is saying. Yes, sir. So um, don't get confused when that comes up. Now let's keep reading. The Holy Spirit, the third person, is the third person of the Godhead. He is the power by which God made the whole world. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says, is the one who garnished the heavens. This is powerful. Yes, sir. Can you just discuss this briefly? You know, like, uh, thank you so much, sir. Like our man of God said, the Holy Spirit is one who garnished the heavens. Job 26. Verse 13, in that same scripture, if you read it in the NLT, the Bible says the Holy Spirit is the one that beautifies the heavens. Glory. You know, it's an, a man of God says the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Godhead, which means he is God himself. The Bible says he's the one that proceeded from the Father. And it, uh, a man of God makes us to understand that in heaven, the Holy Spirit is not one in one place. God is one place and his word is in another place. That they are one. Awesome. That they are one. So if the Holy Spirit, like not even if the Holy Spirit is the one who beautifies the heaven, the heavens, which means your life, your life, when you receive him, he beautifies your life, garnishing it and make it whole. Praise Glory the Lord. To God. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. You know, the Holy Ghost was there when the word was created. Yes. The Bible says it was upon the surface of the deep. Yes, sir. So he was there in creation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, can you just read us the next few lines, Brother Tari? Okay. He said, when God speaks, the Holy Spirit is the one who brings it to pass. He's the doer of the things of God. Wow. Like, just like what you said, it was there in uh, Genesis chapter 1. He says, he's the doer of the things of God. When God. So when God wants to do something in your life, it will have to be by the Holy Spirit. This is why you need the Holy Spirit in your life. Today, even the Lord Jesus Christ had to have the Holy Spirit. It was only after the Holy Spirit came on into his life that the, his ministry and the miraculous began. Remember that when he was on earth, even though he was the son of God, he didn't operate or minister as a son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He operated and ministered as a man, the son of man. Glory. Pastor, sir, reading this, what, what are your thoughts about this? That even though he was a son of God, when he was on earth, he didn't operate as a minister or as a son of God. He operated, sorry, he said he didn't operate or minister as a son of God. He operated and ministered as a man, Hallelujah. the son of God. You know, the scripture that comes to my mind, you know, when we look at this is Acts chapter 10, verse 38, mm. where the Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy mm. Ghost and with power. power. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. So everything he did, he did through the Holy Ghost. Mm. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. What an awesome book this is. You need to really get your copy. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back. When you send your gift this month to support Love World USA, be sure to ask for your copy of Pastor Chris's classic book, How to Pray Effectively, Volume 1. 
The key to communion with God and access to His blessings and benefits is an effective prayer life. And Pastor Chris will help you understand the rules of prayer and how to apply them for your desired outcome. You'll gain divine insight into the prayer of faith, the prayer of agreement, praying with the Spirit, praying for material needs, prophetic prayer, and much, much more. For your gift of $25 or more this month, ask for How to Pray Effectively, Volume 1. Your prayer life will be revolutionized as you learn and put into practice the biblical principles Pastor Chris shares, along with the practical examples of what he's learned about prayer in his own life and ministry. Write, call, or visit the Love World USA website to make your gift and request your copy today. You're welcome back to this wonderful program, Tremendous Power. I hope you were blessed by the initial things we discussed from that wonderful book. And again, I want to remind you, you need to go to King's Chat and let us know that you have some prayer points. And if you do send them to us, we will pray. And also, of course, you know, let us know your testimonies, uh, the things that God is doing in your life through this program. Now, talking about the things God is doing through this program, I have awesome testimonies to share with you today. Great testimonies. But before I go into my testimonies, I'll be asking Brother Tari to share with us one or two testimonies that he has concerning this program or any other area he likes to share with us. Brother Tari, over to you. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, sir. You know, uh, the, I'll, 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 be, I'll quick to, but I'll share it in just two, you know. The program, Tremendous Power, has not just blessed my life, but it has blessed those whom I've shared the link with. And that's why I want to encourage you to do the same. You know, through this program, many people have, been, have, have, have come to the real knowledge of Christ, especially on these various topics that we've been taking. And uh, I get feedback, I, sometimes I send the link even outside the United States and I get feedback. And it has also blessed those of us in the church and in, uh, in Christ Embassy at, at our uh, famous branch because many of them watch it and I get feedback and they are blessed. Some things were said that they've never heard it before. And they were like, wow. And also uh, last, uh, there was a time this few weeks ago, one of our first timers came to church. She's been eager to receive the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then we prayed and she received him. And since that time, she's been speaking in tongues, making power available. And I'm sure even right now, she's watching this. And right there where she is, I know she'll be speaking in tongues right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome testimony. Thank you so much. You know, this program has blessed so many, you know, all around the world. You know, we receive testimonies. But I want to share this with you, you know, particularly what the Holy Ghost can do in your life. Mm. You know, when we talk about the power of the Holy Ghost, don't take, don't take this lightly at all. You know, um, it, 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 it's a personality you must have in your life mm. because it does great things. You know, I was in this meeting um, outside my state, one of the states here in the U.S., in one of our churches, and um, I'll be sent them by my, by my seasonal pastor to go minister in that church, you know, over the weekend. And then as I ministered, I had to pray for some of the brethren. So they came out. There were a group of new people in church that day. You know, some ladies and they were sisters, I was told. Uh, one of them was pregnant, the other one came and I prayed for them. And then after we were done, you know, a few weeks later, the pastor of that church calls me. And she says, one of the ladies that I prayed for, that she had come there demon possessed. Because I know when I prayed for her, you know, she went under the power and I know God did something in her life. But I didn't actually know her particular situation. But the story was that she hasn't had a child for 13 years. She had a 13-year-old child, and since then, she haven't had a child. And the doctor has said that there was nothing wrong with her, that she was fine. She's seen many doctors, but they knew that she was possessed with demons. So evidently, when I prayed for her, those demons, they left her. But the good thing was, or the testimony is, just a week after that day I prayed for her, she became pregnant. Mm. Presently, she's pregnant now. So that's what the Holy Ghost can do. Yes. Even though I didn't know her situation, but the Holy Ghost went ahead of me in my prayer, and did that miracle in her life. Yes. Well, enough of the testimonies. Now we need to pray. And today, like I said to you, we will be praying for our rich art code Rabba. I will have a little time to discuss that in the next segment. But now we're going to be praying. So first, we're going to be declaring 
that many around the world will come to the knowledge of God's word through the Reach Out World Initiative. We will declare that souls will be receptive to those in their nations going out to minister God's word to them. Amen. We will declare that many will witness tangible results and see miracles untold right before their eyes. The lame will walk, the blind will see, Amen. and the deaf will hear, and they get in contact with the messenger angel rhapsody of realities. So we're going to be praying now. So please join us as we pray all around the world. Oh, Rabba Shaki Baligidi, Manto Saprakira Ragadi, Zebra Ateskia, Balabrogo, Sokoto Baligidi, Rabba Gadon, Sopraki Ragada, Rasu de Le, Procoto, that the Rasul of Realis is making impact all around the world, is bringing healing, bringing salvation to the Bosque. Yes, the Lama Koto, the Blind Assembly, but a part of God's spirit, through this Kalagadia, Mantele Gedos, so pray for saints all over the world, that has increased the word of God, that is the talk of. this is the confidence that we have that whatever we ask in your name you hear us yes thank you dear lord thank you oh hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying yes now we go to our second prayer point as brother tari reached the prayer point hallelujah just being the attitude of prayer yes glory to god glory to god now, the second prayer point is pray for favor with those in authority in our nations, cities, and towns. Declare that we will freely distribute the rhapsody of realities without any hindrances. We will freely walk into the malls, local shopping centers, and stores and give it to those in there. Declare that every person who is giving the rhapsody of reality we will not only take a copy, but be led to Christ and read the messenger angel. This prayer is very important. Some may be wondering why we pray to have free course into the malls because sometimes we've been, we're preaching sometimes, we're going to my own apartment and they call the cops on us. So that's why we're praying this prayer that the gospel, as we spread the gospel, as we spread the rapture of realities, there will be no hindrance. We'll freely walk into malls, cities, apartments, everywhere. And as they read this rapture of realities, their lives will be transformed and they will give their life to Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, lava sha. Banta kala gade segre keto sote leketo ya. Arada bashante ke makarudo. Lebro koto sote leko prati. Iziada kala gado segre gade ya. Erada kala sote leke rudo. Bashata barunda sele barun sele barun. Or rekate sebra kate ya. Mansi eka rado skete. Lebro koto sote leko prati. Glory to your name. Thank you, dear Lord. Oh, Father, we honor you. Yes, we Lord. give you all the praise and glory Hallelujah. and honor. You hear us always. Yes. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be that was exalted. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We'll be right back. When you send your gift this month to support Love World USA, be sure to ask for your copy of Pastor Chris's classic book, How to Pray Effectively, Volume 1. The key to communion with God and access to His blessings and benefits is an effective prayer life. And Pastor Chris will help you understand the rules of prayer and how to apply them for your desired outcome. You'll gain divine insight into the prayer of faith, the prayer of agreement, praying with the Spirit, praying for material needs, prophetic prayer, and much, much more. For your gift of $25 or more this month, ask for How to Pray Effectively, Volume 1. Your prayer life will be revolutionized as you learn and put into practice the biblical principles Pastor Chris shares, along with the practical examples of what he's learned about prayer in his own life and ministry. 
write, call, or visit the Love World USA website to make your gift and request your copy today. You're welcome back to your favorite program, Tremendous Power. You know, it's Reach Out World Season, and we have been doing so much spreading the Word of God all around the nations of the world. You know, we've been imparting our cities, imparting our states, and all the nations of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as given to us by a man of God, Pastor Christ, through the rhapsody of realities. And the big deal for me is that we can reach them in their own language. That is awesome, Brother Tari. What have you to say about that? You know, that's really, really so awesome that we have over 7,000 languages in rich, uh, uh, Rhapsody of Realities. It's really amazing because sometimes we go out to minister to some people and then, especially uh, in my area, when we go out to preach to them, a lot of times when we knock at the apartment uh, units, they are actually not English speaking person, they are, you know, Spanish speaking. This thing. And then we're able to get Rhapsody of Reality. That one just so gladdens my heart to see that Rhapsody of Realities is in your local language. So language right now is not a barrier. The gospel of God, as given to us by man of God, in the rhapsody of realities, is spreading across all nations, into every ethnic places. And that is, it's, a, it's just amazing. Glory to it God. Is, it is. That is that is actually God talking to them in, in their, their language. language. Yes. You know, and they can resist, they can get saved. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. You know, um, talking about Code Rabah, you know, a man of God activated that code. Yes, sir. You know, where we have to multiply, we have to enlarge, and we have to excel. Same. And it's all about souls. You know, it, it treats my heart to share this testimony. You know, what a man of God did was release, you know, unusual grace mm. of, of soul winning. Mm. In my church, you know, after a man of God has activated this code, in one Sunday, just a few weeks back, we had... 15 first timers. You know, to some churches that may not mean so much because of their size, mm. you know, but our church is not a very big church of a thousand people. Mm. We're in the hundreds. So when we get 15 people in a day on a Sunday service walking to church, is a big deal for us. Yes, sir. But you think that was good or that was awesome? Wait, wait to hear this. <laughs> in another Sunday, two Sundays after, we had 58 people walking to church. Why would that happen? Because mm. there was grace released by a man of God mm. when he activated Code Rabah. Yes. So I, I want to encourage you to use this opportunity because the men are ready. Mm. The souls are ready. They are yes. eager to receive Jesus. So it's the time to go out and preach the gospel. Arm yourself with rhapsody of realities, right? Yes, it is rich at world, not just your city, not just your state, not just your nation. Give to us rhapsody. Mm. Maybe you can't go to South Korea. Maybe you can't go to other nations of the world, but your money can send rhapsody yes. there. And the good, thing, the good thing is that rhapsody is in their language. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Glory to God. Yes. Just one word from you before we go into prayer. Praise the Lord. I mean, it's, it's really, really so amazing that right now, the, like I did say earlier, rhapsody reality is in your language. And like you said, it's God speaking to you in your own language. You know, but uh, sometimes back in the time where we have to you know, meet somebody on the way and we don't know their language or whatever, they don't speak English, and we have to start doing sign language, you know. And But right now, you have it in your language, and it's, it's blessing your soul. It's blessing you, and we have been seeing the result. And like you said, a man of God activating the Kodraba, uh, Kodraba being activated, like I did say, Kodraba fully activated. We are multiplying. We are enlarging. We are we are multi. We, are, we have multiplied. Yes. We have enlarged, Large. and we, we are, are excelling in Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Glory Amen. To God. Thank you Thank so much, you Brother so. Tari. Now we're going to pray because we have a few minutes left on this segment. So, this is our next prayer point, and I hope you are ready to pray with us. And we're going to be praying now for the global impact of Reach Out World. Mm. Yes, many will have testimonies as a result of this global outreach. Many lives will be transformed by a messenger angel, which is rhapsody of realities. Children, the elderly, families, teachers, police officers, soldiers, and people from all walks of life will be open to receiving God's word Amen. with meekness and joy. Amen. 
Just join us now as we pray. Oh, Rabba Shaka Bali Gregede 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 Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We are still praying as we go to our next prayer point. Of course, the last one for this session. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This prayer point says. It says, declare that the saints and all those in the ministry will be bold to proclaim this gospel now more than ever before. Yes, we give big, we win many and build them up with the word of God. Declare that our churches will grow rapidly as a result of the reach out world. Many of the souls won will grow in the world, become Bible study teachers, cell leaders and pastors who help others grow and spread the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. In the, yes, in the name of Jesus, many new will be started by the power of God's Spirit. In the name of Jesus, many new churches will be planted. In the name of Jesus, we declare by God's Spirit. He shall be, he shall be. We will see the impact of Richard Richard world. And it will cause many souls to be swept into God's kingdom. In their billions. Oh, Father, we thank you. We honor you, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Just lift your hands and thank God wherever you are. Thank you, thank you for answer Blessed prayers. Be your name, we Lord. honor you, Lord. You are worthy. Thank you. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you so much for joining us in this program. And of course, our awesome, tremendous Jah did a wonderful work today, giving us all the prayer points. And I'm sure you prayed with us. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time. God bless you.